Hi all and thanks for watching. In this video I'm just going to go over adding DX9 support to your Windows 10. Now Windows 10 doesn't usually come installed with DX9 so you have to rely on things like your video games and such in order to add those files. Although in some cases you want to add something like a reshade or a sweet effects or an ENB that requires some additional files. And this won't actually downgrade your DX version, but rather just add additional support files to your existing version. So if you're a Windows 10 user, you don't have to worry about your Windows DirectX being downgraded by adding these files. Just as I said, it will add additional support to your existing DirectX. And I'll just show you where you can download it here and how to actually install it in your Windows 10. And I will leave a link under the video here if you'd like to add these additional files to your computer in order to run any DX9 related programs that you may be running. Now once you actually go to the download page here it should actually auto download the link that I have is right to the download location and if it doesn't start you just want to click here to download and you just want to save that file. Once that file is actually saved it's a two-step installation process. So first you'll want to just run that and what it will do when you run it is it will actually want a location to extract to. So just browse to your C drive here and say OK and then add DX to the actual location there and just say OK and it will actually extract the files and then once it's extracted the files you want to go to this PC and your C drive and to the DX folder and once here you just need to run the DX setup exe and just accept and hit next and next again and it will install those extra DX9 files that you need. So like I said if you're using a reshade or a sweet effects or an EMB or even if you're just running a lot of DX9 games this will add the final revision of DX9 and add those additional files that Windows 10 lacks. And even if you're on a older operating system, if you haven't installed the final release of DirectX 9, you can also use this method to install those additional files. So once you're done, you just click finish and it's now added those extra DirectX files to your computer so that you have that extra support. All right, now if there are any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.